A view from space today of the largest hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic. A menacing swirl of cloud a thousand miles wide and accelerating. And we can see the core, woo, we can see the core of that hurricane coming right at us. Look at that. One. Down on the ground, a reporter enduring winds that have been picking up speed all day. Hurricane Sandy is a category one, the lowest, but it's extremely unusual. Hurricanes normally get weaker when they hit the coast. This one may get stronger. Tropical storm force winds lasting for an extended period, uh, really well overnight and into tomorrow. This is going to take a long time to clear out because Sandy is such a, a large hurricane. Hurricane Sandy is blanketing most of the eastern United States. This storm is on a scale that's hard to comprehend. Imagine it superimposed on a map of Europe. Centred just east of Paris, it would cover much of the continent and all of the UK. It's just the size of this storm system. I mean, it centres actually out in the Atlantic, but the outer bands, even through the weekend, have already caused significant problems for the Carolinas and also Virginia. So it's the size, I think, rather than the intensity that's the big issue currently. Hurricane Sandy is being called a Frankenstorm because of some exceptional factors. First, in the far north, high pressure is blocking the storm from petering out in the Atlantic. Instead, this massive weather system is being forced up and then across towards the coast. There, a mass of cold air flowing from the Arctic is giving the hurricane even more energy. All this means faster winds, 85 miles per hour, recorded by a research plane, and storm surges, made more threatening because the tides are unusually high. The coming hours will be extremely tense. Even before the hurricane reached land, its impact was being felt with rising winds and falling trees. The streets are totally gone. High tide flooded this New Jersey town. Hurricane Sandy killed at least 60 people in the Caribbean. The poorest countries are the most vulnerable to extreme weather. Now there are sandbags in Wall Street. Not for a century has weather forced the financial markets to close for two days running. Early warning means the impact may be less than feared, but this highly unusual storm is yet to do its worst. David Shukman, BBC.